In this video, I will be silently installing Opera. I will be using PSExec to execute the installation under the system account and just to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, if you want to know more about PSExec, you can check out the video that I have in the bottom of the page if you're interested in why I'm using it. So now I will begin this video by downloading the installation executable file and for that I will use the link that I have here. That brings me to the Opera download page. And here I will scroll down a bit and here we have download all Opera browsers. I will expand the Opera one and here we have Opera for Windows and it's the offline package because the offline package is a bit more convenient to deploy uh, to, to our users. And I will select the 64-bit one and it should start downloading for me. Then I will go to my downloads folder and here I have my executable. And now I will right click on the executable, select copy and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have a Windows virtual machine prepared. And here I have this software folder, I will open it and I will paste in the executable into this folder. And also in the same folder, I have my PSExec executable because like I said, I will be using it to launch the installation under the system account. So the next step is to open a command line. For that, I will go to my start menu, type CMD and run it as administrator. Click yes. And the next step that we want to do is to change our location in our command line to the location where we have our executable. So for that, I will click here and copy the location then in the command line i will type cd paste in the location and press enter if i type there we can see our executables in the command line also if i type who am i it is saying that the currently this command line is running under the user admin and to switch it i will be using psexec so for that i will type psexec executable name minus i for interactive, minus s for system account, and then we need to provide the process that we want to start under the system user. So in this case, to keep it simple, I will start CMD, press enter, and here we have another window. But this time, if I type who am I, it is saying that this window is currently running under NT authority system user. This means that everything I am doing in this command line, I am doing it as a system user. Once again, we want to change our location to the location where we have our executables. So for that, I will type CD, paste in the location. And once again, I will type there and we can see our executables in this command line. Now to start the installation, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have the command that I will be using uh, for this video. And as you can see, I'm starting this command with CMDC. This is not necessary. But it allows us to see when the installation is fully finished just by looking at the command line. Then I'm providing the executable name, then I'm using a parameter all users. And just to make this installation a machine wide installation, and that makes the software accessible to all the users on the computer. Then we are using a parameter silent equals one, and this is the main parameter that makes this installation a silent installation. And also I'm using a parameter. Uh, launch browser equals zero and this is because uh, without this parameter after the installation opera browser would start and we don't want that especially when we are deploying the software because the software deployment is under the system account so that we don't want the software to launch under the system user so i will copy this command then i will go back to my virtual machine and i will paste in the command into the command line and press enter and now we need to wait a bit for the software to install. And as you can see, the installation is done. And now we have our Opera browser desktop icon right here. I will double click on it. And it seems to be working just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I will show you how to deploy Opera using different types of software deployment tools, such as Group Policy and PDQ Deploy. So like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one.